And today, Governor Inslee also announced that there's finally a light at the end of the tunnel. He appeared today without a mask for the first time in months, all to uh, make the announced all to announce a full reopening of the state by early summer. It's the news we've all been waiting yep. for for a very long time. We want to get straight to our political reporter Casey Decker with the exact details of today's announcement and really what it means for all of us right now. Casey, hello. Hey there, Whitney, Tom. Well, you know, for most of this pandemic, one of the hardest things to deal with has just been the uncertainty, never really knowing when all this might end, when we can go back to normal life. Tonight, we finally know when, June 30th. At least that's the target Governor Inslee just announced today. So let's go into exactly what he means by that. He says we are on track for a full reopening on June 30th, and that means what it sounds like. Nearly all restrictions on businesses and crowds lifted, going back to basically life as normal. Inslee says only a handful of restrictions in very specific settings will remain, such as hospitals and public transit. But to be clear here, June 30th is not exactly a hard date. It could be earlier or later, depending on two metrics. One, it could be earlier if we hit a vaccination rate of 70%. Inslee said that means 70% or more people ages 16 and up with at least one dose. Right now, our number is 57%, so still some work to do there. Two, though, it could be later or it could be canceled if any point our statewide ICU occupancy exceeds 90%. If we ever hit that metric, restrictions will be re-implemented. Our current number, by the way, there is 82%. So that is a little bit close for comfort, though Inslee says it is going down. Now, the governor also said this is all possible for two reasons. One, that fourth wave of COVID that started plateauing a couple weeks back, well, he says that's now turned into an outright decline. So we're getting our numbers back under control. And two, of course, the vaccine. We're very pleased in the last couple of weeks to see this progress and reduction of the disease proclivity. So our case rates and our hospitalization rates are both coming down. There is universal access to the vaccine now. This is life saving. It's free. What's not to like? And now we're moving to the full throated uh, dedication to protecting our citizens using that mechanism rather than restricting long term our freedom of, of economic performance and other things we enjoy in life. So, of course, that June 30th date, great to have, but what's going to happen in the meantime? Well, the governor says starting next Tuesday, the whole state will be placed to and remain in phase three. That means most businesses will be open at 50% capacity and will be a modified phase three with some exceptions to actually allow larger groups of fully vaccinated people. This means Spokane County no longer has to worry about being bounced back individually to phase two, and it means Whitman County will be allowed back into phase three. So some very, very good news tonight coming from Olympia. Of course, we do need to stay diligent though in order to avoid that 90% ICU occupancy contingency. The best way to do that, of course, go get vaccinated. In the newsroom tonight, Casey Decker, Crumpton News.